Time for the KSL In-Depth. Amy Wilson doesn't hold any grudge over what happened to her back in February. She was driving on 300 West near 700 North in Salt Lake City when a car came flying toward her at nearly 100 miles an hour. Wilson was pregnant at the time. She was badly injured in the resulting wreck, which also killed two teenage West High School students. Doctors managed to deliver her baby while Wilson was in a coma. Well, our reporter caught up with Amy Wilson today to ask how her little girl, Grace Deliverance, is doing. They were concerned that she would not be able to feed herself or use her the left side of her body or speak at all. And uh, so far, none of that has manifested. So she's using her whole body. She uses both hands, you know, and she cries. We heard her talking and, just yeah, a little bit ago. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so she's doing just amazing. And she, she eats really well, so there's no concern there. So she's just, she's a miracle baby. Recovery has come slowly for Amy Wilson, though. She doesn't remember the crash. She doesn't remember the eight days that followed. So I was in the hospital for 35 days, and then Grace was in the hospital for 33 days. So I had several injuries. Uh, kind of the biggest one that hampered my lifestyle was my left pelvis was broken. So I couldn't put any weight on that leg. So I just, I couldn't walk for several months until really the end of April I started walking again and then um, since I've, I've been able to get back to running which is amazing. Today we just learned that the Salt Lake County prosecutors have filed criminal charges against the 18 year old driver of the car that hit Wilson. He faces counts of manslaughter and reckless driving. Wilson says she and her family wish him no ill will. We feel just compassion towards them and we have no feelings of, of anger or resentment, you know, and I think we've all been teenagers and made decisions like that where it's just a moment. And luckily for most of us, our decisions don't have this type of an impact, you know, so our hearts go out to, to the people that were involved. And just we hope that they can heal and move forward as well with their but lives. Police originally suspected the driver who's now facing charges, Abraham Miranda, had been drag racing at the time. Charging documents say he told police he was in a hurry to get to an arcade. You've been listening to The In-Depth at 15 and 45.